I'm gonna just turn off the curved Boolean lines and turn on the contours again. And um, I think that this, this surface looks a lot more accurate than this surface over here, which has a lot of bumpy edges and um, a lot of sort of internal curving that doesn't really make sense with the contours that we're putting in. So use patch intelligently with your ability to um, lift and lower contours to be able to adjust it to the topography that you need to create. Here's another landform. This is from a project in Toronto, and this was a quite large landform that we were creating. This is just a very straightforward lifting of contours and then using patch or loft to create a topography. So let's see if there's any difference between using patch or loft. We're gonna just uh, turn the notes back on and you can see that we have a high point here of six meters and over here of five meters. So we can assume that we're going down by one meter each time. So if this is six, this is five, this is four, this is also four, three, two, one, zero. So this outline is the outside of the landform and it is also the zero point of this landform. So let's select all of the contours. And let's begin to elevate them to their correct heights. So we're gonna start by lifting everything by one meter using move and then in vertical, V for vertical. Select a point, raise it up, and hit one for one meter, enter. Now everything is raised up by one meter. We can deselect the lowest contour line because it's gonna stay at one meter and we're gonna elevate the rest by one meter increments going all the way to the top. All right, so if we look at the way that these uh, contours have elevated, we can see the shape of the landform um, taking shape below us with these curves, but of course we wanna create a surface from these. So the best way to do that is to select all of the input curves that you want to use, and then use the patch command. So let's preview this based on the settings that we just had. This creates a really nice landform. Um, you can see that it's following the, the curves that we have used as inputs very well. Um, the only thing is it might be a little bit uh, less, than, um, less than strict around the edges. You can see some places where the edge looks like it's lifting up a little bit or dipping down below the surface at uh, where the, the contour is at the base. So let's see if we can use stiffness to adjust this. I'm going to move this down to three. And if I preview again, you can see that edge tightens up a lot. If I move it down to two, it's really, really tight at the, at the base. So this is nice. This is creating a landform that's very um, conformed to our contours. So I'm gonna press okay. And um, I want you to note how contours impact the shape of topography. So with each um, little circular contour area, you're basically saying this is the level of six meters, which means everything above that is going to be above six meters. So six meters is actually not the high point. It's just the height of the tallest contour. The land extends up above that because of the way that land works. Um, so you can also see as you have contours that create these sort of ridges that go down towards the base that you end up with this like um, this ridge structure you see a ridge over here as well between these edges of the contours. So as you're beginning to work with landscape, you will understand more and more how contours shape the land and how they're derived from the heights that we're cutting through.